National Voyage. Use points to build a God-class fleet. Chapter 1. Blue Star, Endless Sea. The human race escaped a catastrophe 3,000 years ago. The land area on the Blue Star has been greatly reduced, and the ocean is endless, extending to endless space. As long as the human race teenagers reach the age of 18, they will awaken their qualifications as captains and be forcibly transported to unfamiliar sea areas. Lead your own fleet and set sail. Conquer the sea. Today is your coming of age ceremony. You are about to set off to conquer the turbulent waves and ancient giants of the endless sea. But no matter what, please remember that you are the citizens of the Shenxia Empire. No matter where you are in the endless sea, Shenxia will always care about you. Bless you all to conquer the blue star, the stars and the sea. The headmaster's speech at the coming of age ceremony is coming to an end. There was a hint of sadness in his old eyes. A coming of age ceremony is held every year. In this life, he has sent away many students to embark on the journey to the sea. But those who can come back safely are very few. The young students in the audience are gearing up and eager to try, which is in stark contrast to the sad and melancholy of the principal. They all stood on the small pier on the shore, waiting for their ships to arrive. I'm so excited. I finally turned 18. Yes, I don't know what kind of talent I will awaken. The talent effect will directly affect the direction of building your own fleet, or the way it operates. I want to become a big merchant at sea. I want to form a sea monster hunting fleet, exciting. Here I come to the endless sea. Beauty, treasure, and great adventure, here I come. My blood can't help but boil. At this time, all the students' brows were lit up with a little golden light at the same time. That was a sign of the awakening of the captain's qualifications. The original ship belonging to each student landed on the dock beside them at this moment. Everyone couldn't wait to check out their exclusive ships and was overjoyed. Wow. My ship is actually equipped with a musketeer. Me too. And it's still high quality. It seems that we can start hunting at sea today. Look, who owns that battered salvage boat over there? With the undulating waves of the dilapidated salvage ship, it came into view impressively. Ship named, Salvage Ship. Level, LB.1. Quality, Whiteboard. Halo, None. Skill, Primary Salvage. Crew, Salvageman 3. Weapon, Harpoon 3. Ah, really, this is too bad luck, a salvage ship has no resources to salvage in the early sea area. Yeah, they've been scoured by previous newcomers, so we can only salvage worthless garbage. This boat seems to belong to Chin Feng. All eyes were on a young man with a straight and well-proportioned body. The boy has sword-like eyebrows and star-eyed eyes, with sharp facial features, handsome and compelling. Ha ha ha. The grades in school are so good, but you want to pick up trash. In the past 10 years at school, Chin Feng has made the limelight, high grades, and school bell chasing after him. This dilapidated boat is really relieved. HMPH, he started with a poor hand, let's see how he compares to us. The few male students on the side were obviously very jealous of Chin Feng on weekdays. After seeing Chin Feng's awakened initial salvage ship today, they sneered mercilessly, expressing their jealousy towards Chin Feng. Some other students and teachers also silently showed expressions of pity. As we all know, the initial ship is very important in the early stage when materials and wealth are scarce, because everyone has no ability to buy or replace a new ship in a short period of time. Tianyu's start will be the key to gaining a foothold in the sea. Obviously, Qin Feng's dilapidated salvage ship has already belonged to the beginning of hell in everyone's eyes. A salvage ship without combat effectiveness, and it is still of whiteboard quality. The quality of all ships on Blue Star, from low to high, is divided into whiteboard, common, boutique, extreme, gem, brilliant, epic, legend, myth. The quality of the ship can only be improved by merging with the spirit of sea beasts. Sea beast essence is a very precious and rare material, which can only be obtained in high-level treasure chests or by killing high-level sea beasts. More importantly, there is still a high probability of failure in merging sea beast spirits. Therefore, improving the quality is extremely difficult for any captain. Qin Feng got the lowest quality whiteboard at the beginning, so his road to promotion is a bit farther than others. In the eyes of the world, his road to improving quality in the future must be bumpy. However, Qin Feng ignored the glances of others. He, 
who has always acted calmly, immediately checked another key element of awakening, the captain's panel. Captain's name, Chin Feng. Talent, Leaping Evolution, SSS Level Talent. When the ships under your command evolve, there is a chance to trigger a jumping upgrade in quality. Level, LV.1. Vessel, 1 half. Affiliated Islands, 0 over 1. Materials, Novice Gift Pack. SSS Level Talent. This is even stronger than the Double S Talent, which is currently the strongest talent in the human race. It can be called a God Level Talent. Qin Feng's heart is beating wildly, and the Leaping Evolution Talent will make the quality of his ships evolve by leaps and bounds, which is too heaven-defying. At this time, a clear and moving mechanical prompt sounded from the mind. Ding! The qualification of the host's awakened captain was detected, and the system of, turning waste into treasure, was activated. The system integrates the origin of the world and is binding with the host. 0.98% 0.99% Congratulations to the host. The system is bound successfully. After 18 years, Qin Feng finally got his golden finger. Hello master. System, please introduce your functions. Qin Feng said skillfully. Good master. A pleasant mechanical sound came, and the system voice began a detailed introduction. After a systematic introduction, Qin Feng basically understood the functions of the waste to treasure system. The system of, turning waste into treasure, has three major functions, fusion, upgrade, restoration, and recycling. Fusion, upgrade, use items higher than the current quality of the ship to fuse with the ship, then the quality of the ship will be, definitely, improved. Others use the spirit of the sea beast to fuse with the ship to improve the quality, and there is a high probability of failure. And Qin Feng can use any substance to fuse with the ship, or it's sure to improve the quality. It's just a hang up. The salvage ship in Qin Feng's hands can even be upgraded to become a mythical quality ship. The point is that this function is matched with his talent, jumping evolution, and the effect is even more exaggerated. It is no longer a dream to turn a salvage ship into a mythical warship. Restoration is mainly to restore damaged objects, organisms, etc., to the state before the damage. However, whether it is fusion, upgrade or restoration, points are required. As for how to get system points, it involves the last function, recycling. The waste to treasure system will recycle what is judged to be valuable, and then give system points. Qin Feng was overjoyed. This vast ocean, among other things, only the resources are inexhaustible. And the initial ship I started with, happened to be a salvage ship. What a providence. Most of the resources at sea will not be just what you can use. Generally speaking, it can either be traded on Tianzun.com, or it can only be stored or thrown away. But Qin Feng is different, as long as the salvage is not pure garbage, he can recycle it to the system to get points. In other words, with Qin Feng who has a system, everything on the sea can be perfectly utilized. Of course, due to the excessive search in the novice sea area, there are relatively few useful materials. However, the materials salvaged to redeem points are still enough for Qin Feng. After thinking about his future development plan, Qin Feng showed a satisfied smile on the corner of his mouth. At this time, there was a sound of light footsteps on high heels. Da da da. A beautiful woman came and stopped in front of Qin Feng. Look, it's the school girl Lin Xiaoyu. What did she take the initiative to walk up to Qin Feng? I still don't understand. In the past, Lin Xiaoyu liked Qin Feng because of his excellent grades, but now Qin Feng. Oh, I see, now Qin Feng only has a broken salvage boat. The school bell doesn't like him at all. Smart, this time the school girl Lin Xiaoyu is probably here to make fun of Qin Feng. It is said that the school beauty wrote a love letter to Qin Feng, and Qin Feng never came back. This must be retribution. The boys around suddenly approached the pier where Qin Feng was, watching the excitement with smirks on their faces. They were looking forward to Qin Feng being scolded by the school bell to make him look miserable. Qin Feng. A soft and pleasant voice floated over. Qin Feng was originally immersed in his own thoughts, but suddenly raised his head. I saw the woman in front of me, a big wave flying with the sea breeze, her phoenix eyes were like flying, full of affection. She has a straight chong nose, white and reddish cheeks, and blue cherry lips. It is really a stunning beauty. Xiaoyu. 
You, what can I do for you? Qin Feng raised his brows lightly, a little puzzled. That, that. Lin Xiaoyu hesitated and hesitated. Well, you, don't be discouraged, I believe you will become stronger and stronger in the sea. Hee hee, that's the way it is. Thank you for your encouragement. You should work hard too. Qin Feng smiled, it turned out that she saw this salvage ship and was worried that Qin Feng would be discouraged, so she came here to refuel. The boys who were watching the excitement were suddenly dumbfounded. No. What about slapping Qin Feng in the face? What about mocking? It's such a bad start, how can the school bell still support him so much? No reason. When everyone found that Shalwa's attitude was different from what they expected, they all showed a bitter look on their faces. Lin Xiaoyu clenched her small fist, as if mustering up her courage and said. Qin Feng, my big brother formed his own guild in the Endless Sea, if you don't mind. Thank you for your concern. I want to try how far I can go on my own. Qin Feng heard the meaning of Lin Xiaoyu's words, and declined with a calm smile. When Lin Xiaoyu heard Qin Feng's resolute refusal, she felt relieved knowing that Qin Feng had indeed not fallen down. At the same time, the admiration for Qin Feng in her eyes increased a bit. This is the man I like, what he should look like. Lin Xiaoyu secretly sighed in her heart. At this moment, the boys watching the excitement burst into tears. They wanted to see Qin Feng being ridiculed by the school bell, but they were caught off guard and ate their mouthfuls of dog food. This plot is wrong, is Qin Feng so defiant? Is the charm value too high? I started the artillery boat, and I didn't see any girl confessing. Guys, is there a possibility that Qin Feng is so popular not because of his strength or fleet, but because of his looks? Qin Feng is handsome and handsome, few girls can resist his charm. Having said that, the boys watching the excitement fell silent. Okay, I'm ready to go, let's see you in the endless sea. Qin Feng said goodbye to Lin Xiaoyu calmly, and then stepped on the salvage boat that was undulating with the waves. In the blink of an eye, he and the salvage ship disappeared into white light. When he opened his eyes again, he had already appeared on a small isolated island. He is already in the endless sea. Look at my novice gift bag, how lucky is it? With curiosity and anticipation, Qin Feng looked at his novice gift bag and said. Open the novice gift bag. Open the novice gift bag. In a blink, the gift bag is radiant and colorful, exuding a strange brilliance. The novice gift pack has been opened. Congratulations on getting fresh water 50 liters. Delicious bread asterisk 10 caddies. Congratulations on getting the broken piece of the deep sea treasure box one piece. Qin Feng stood on the isolated island and nodded in satisfaction. The result of opening the gift bag this time is relatively European. Except for the currency, sea source stone, of the endless sea, which has not been released, fresh water, food, and supplies have all been obtained. There is no sea source stone, it can be earned, and it can also be traded with materials. But if there is no fresh water and food, it will be too miserable for newcomers. The fresh water and food are enough for Qin Feng to survive the novice protection period without any worries. Novice protection period, 7 days. All newcomers will venture into this newcomer sea, and other captains and ships cannot enter this newcomer sea. This is also a great system made by the Shengxia Empire in order to protect the early development of newcomers. On the seventh day, there will be a newcomer secret practice, which can be regarded as a test of the newcomer's leveling results during the novice protection period. The newcomer secret realm rehearsal not only has a lot of experience points, but also has a wealth of materials, props and treasure boxes, which is a conscientious activity for all newcomers to strive for. That is to say, from now on, all newcomers have started to upgrade for the secret practice and strengthen their own fleet. The stronger you are, the more powerful rewards you can get in the secret realm. Qin Feng is no exception. But he has a system and SSS level talent, and the route he takes will be unique. The fragments of the deep sea treasure chest. Qin Feng picked up the thumb-sized fragment and looked at it for a moment. This kind of treasure chest fragments, at least 100 pieces must be gathered together to form a complete treasure chest, right? And there is definitely no deep sea treasure chest in the novice area, so the completed treasure chest is too far away for Qin Feng. The price performance ratio is too low. It would be more cost effective to actually upgrade the fleet under his command, 
hit the secret realm for drills, and get a few more rewards. It's just right to try out the system fusion function. Chin Feng smiled slightly, this material with extremely low cost performance in the hands of others can be used as one of the base materials for fusion. His eyes fell on the dilapidated salvage boat. System, how many points do you need to integrate the fragments of the deep sea treasure chest and the salvage ship? It is detected that this request is fusion of materials and ships, points evaluation is in progress. Master, this fusion requires 500 points. Understood. Chin Feng had a solid idea, as for how to get the 500 points, his eyes fell on the salvage boat beside him. Three unshaven salvagemen were basking in the sun near the ship's side. When they saw Chin Feng's cold eyes sweeping past them, the three of them couldn't help shivering, and straightened their bodies stiffly. Time to work. Chin Feng stepped onto the rickety salvage boat, and the entire hull shook even more violently. Following the command of the captain Chin Feng, the engine of the salvage ship suddenly roared and sailed towards the sea outside the isolated island. The three salvagemen on board were busy handling the fishing gear and throwing the salvage net into the blue water. With Chin Feng, the majestic captain, personally sitting in charge, these salvage crews did not dare to touch the fish at all. After sailing in a circle, the salvaged things are not bad. Salvage. Shallow water seaweed asterisk 20 caddies. Save the storage room. Salvage. Broken trident 2. Recycling points 30 points. Salvage. Human silk cloth broken 15 pieces. Recycling points 90 points. During the two-hour voyage, Chin Feng ordered his salvage crews to salvage non-stop, and finally got enough 500 points. This salvage trip made Chin Feng understand one thing. That is, in low-level sea areas, the material quality level is also very low. On Blue Star, the material quality is classified from low to high into whiteboard, black iron, bronze, silver, gold, starlight, sun and moon, immortality, and treasure. In the novice sea, Chin Feng could only salvage the lowest quality, whiteboard, items. Therefore, the redeemable points are very limited. Fortunately, the quality is not enough, and the quantity comes together. Except for the edible seaweed, Chin Feng handed over the salvaged whiteboard objects to the system for recycling. At this time, there are exactly 500 points in the system balance. Glancing at the tired and almost paralyzed salvage crew on the boat, Chin Feng smiled secretly. System, fuse the fragments of the deep sea treasure chest with the salvage ship. Receive. The fusion function is on. Automatic consumption of 500 points. As a milky white halo suddenly spewed out before Chin Feng's eyes, the outline of a ship that was much larger than before appeared. Ding. Fusion complete. Ship quality improved. Congratulations, while improving the quality of the ship, you have triggered the talent of, leaping evolution. Ship configuration has been greatly improved. Congratulations, the top quality, treasure number, has joined your ranks. Chin Feng's eyes are shining. It worked. Not only the quality has been improved, but also the talent effect has been triggered. Good luck too. Treasure number. It has been promoted directly from the whiteboard to three ranks, and it has evolved into the best quality. Chin Feng couldn't help but look at the new ship Treasure Treasure, which evolved from the original dilapidated salvage ship. Check the properties of treasure number. Check the properties of treasure number. A light blue light curtain immediately appeared in front of Chin Feng's eyes. Ship named Treasure. Level LV.1. Quality, best. Halo, greedy halo, the sea area where treasure is located, the quality of materials in this area will be upgraded by one level. Skills, intermediate salvage, elf search. Crew, treasure spirit 10. Weapon, harpoon 5, elf staff 5. Chin Feng's face is full of spring breeze and festiveness, it's just amazing. He didn't expect that the fusion with the treasure box fragments would directly evolve the ship to the extreme quality. The halo effect and the treasure spirit replace the original salvageman, and the treasure has a completely new look. Magic skills like the aura of greed directly improve the quality of materials in the sea area. Chin Feng is far ahead of the newcomers in the same class when he comes into contact with the quality of materials. In this way, he can even make a lot of money by selling high-end materials to newcomers in the same class. As for the treasure elves of the crew, they are one and a half tall, with big eyes and pointed ears. 
As a special crew they also have panels. Crew, Treasure Elf. Occupation, Explorer. Grade, First Grade. Level, LB.1. Health Volume, 100. Magic, 50. Skill, Treasure Smell, increase the treasure degree of materials obtained by exploration and acquisition, and consume 10 points of mana each time. Evaluation, a clever little ghost, a good assistant who makes money. Even the crew members are born for salvage and treasure hunting. Such a configuration is worthy of its ship name, treasure. In the early days of all people's voyages, supplies were scarce, and this was also the outlet for Chin Feng to make money. He will not let this golden time of selling supplies go to waste. Strike while the iron is hot, Chin Feng immediately ordered the treasure elf to set sail. In order to maximize the time gain, Chin Feng directly asked all treasure elves to activate the skill, treasure smell, for salvage and treasure hunting. And treasure's built-in skill, spirit search, can locate the nearby sea area with the most abundant supplies. Combined with such a set of skills, Chin Feng drove the treasure to the most affluent sea area, and directly fished it. The sea area, which was originally just a whiteboard quality level, was upgraded to a black iron quality under the effect of the aura of greed. And the, treasure sense of smell, of the treasure spirit can increase the treasure of materials, that is, rare black iron materials or silver materials and above. Treasure elves with pointed ears, half of them plunged into the water, and half of them chanted while shaking their staffs on the boat. I saw materials wrapped in light one by one jumping up from the sea and falling into the cabin of treasure. Extremely efficient way to obtain materials. Seeing how convenient and fast the treasure elves search for treasures, Chin Feng couldn't help but praise. Compared with salvage skills, the slow cycle of using fishing nets to catch and collect the nets one by one, the way treasure elves obtain treasures is much more straightforward. Either casting spells or launching into the water to capture them, in short, the materials seemed to be lining up to rush onto the boat. After a while, the cabin was filled with harvested supplies. And the mana points of the ten treasure spirits also disappeared in the blink of an eye. The treasure ship returned to the voyage, and the elves who had been squeezed out of the blue bar collapsed by the side of the ship, looking at Chin Feng with resentful little eyes. Regardless of the gazes of the elves, Chin Feng cheerfully counted the harvest. Black iron musket, rusty, 20 pieces. Exquisite nautical ship board, asterisk, 18 pieces. Black iron grade gunpowder, well preserved, 200 boxes. Rare black iron dagger, 1 piece. Fresh and delicious oranges asterisk three boxes. Skeleton of a shallow sea monster one piece. Dot dot dot. Chin Feng was all smiles, consistent with his guess. With the blessing of the aura of greed, the quality of the materials recovered from the sea this time is significantly higher than the last time. At first glance, they all appear to be of black iron quality. Weapons and hull materials of black iron quality are extremely precious and practical materials at the rookie stage, and the price is very high. Chin Feng will definitely make a fortune this time. After simple screening and classification, Chin Feng only left the oranges and the bones of the shallow sea monsters, silver quality, for his own use. Oranges are for your own consumption and supplement vitamin C. The bones are of a rare silver quality, reserved for future fusion. Originally, Chin Feng wanted to save some black iron quality weapons for his own self-defense, but after thinking about it, the treasure treasure does not support artillery at all, and it is useless to use them. We'll talk about getting new combat ships later. Chin Feng clicked on Tianzun.com, which is a network similar to a chat room function, and also has forum and transaction functions. Ignoring the crazily refreshed chat room content, Chin Feng entered the newcomer forum trading area. He quickly marked the price of the props he found and consigned them to Tianzun.com. Within a few minutes, Tianzun.com exploded. It's only been a few hours, and someone in the newcomer area has already sold black iron quality props. It's against the sky. The highest level of material in the new sea area is black iron, right? It is said that it is guarded by the sea kings. Could it be that someone has already entered the Neptune's territory? The black iron weapon can be used by everyone in the early stage, and the effect is very significant, and the lethality far exceeds the original whiteboard weapon. Hurry up and grab it. It's gone if it's too late. Huh. The seller is. Chin Feng. How is it possible? Didn't he start with a broken salvage ship? Could it be that he salvaged all these black iron props? 
Luck is too good. Amidst the commotion in the newcomer area of Tianzun.com, the C currency in Qin Feng's account arrived quickly. Congratulations. The Black Iron Musket was sold successfully, and 2,000 C source stones were obtained. Congratulations. The exquisite nautical ship board was successfully sold, and 2,850 C source stones were obtained. With the sound of dense arrival notification sounds. On Qin Feng's face, there was a confident smile that belonged to a business giant. The goods that Qin Feng consigned in the trading area of Tianzun.com were sold out quickly. The high-quality props made Qin Feng's reputation in the trading area soar instantly. Brother Qin Feng, please let me know in advance when the next time it is in stock. I will prepare money. It's unbelievable, Brother Qin got black iron quality props on the first day, and the quality is so satisfactory. Don't say anything, this gunpowder is better than the ammunition I originally supplied. Conscience businessman. Brother Qin's goods, I don't worry. The evaluations of buyers show in the forum are one-sided, full of praise for Qin Feng. Qin Feng glanced at it briefly, and closed the page when he saw good reviews. He smiled lightly, and a good reputation was established, which laid a solid mass foundation for his next sale of goods. But what makes him more excited and looking forward to at this moment is the large amount of sea origin stones in his wallet balance. That's right, as the common currency of the endless sea, the sea source stone also has another function, to upgrade the level. Whether it is the level of the captain or the level of the ship, it can be upgraded by consuming sea source stones. This is also one of the reasons why countless fleets in the sea are desperately searching for Haiyuan stone. Haiyuan stone not only represents wealth, but also rank and strength. The higher the level of the captain, the higher the upper limit of the number of ships, islands, etc. that can be accommodated under his command, and the larger the fleet size. The higher the level of the ship, the more or stronger the personnel and weapons it will be equipped with. In actual combat, High levels can often suppress low-level ships. Qin Feng checked his wallet, and earned 8,000 Haiyuan stones in total. This is the first day, with an income of 8,000 sea origin stones, Qin Feng is already the richest player among newcomers. At the same time, this huge income is enough for Qin Feng to raise his level to level 2. Qin Feng called out the captain's panel and ordered softly. Upgrade the captain's level. Upgrading the captain's level to LV.2 requires consumption of 4,000 sea origin stones. Do you want to continue? No problem, continue. As Qin Feng's voice fell, the white light on the translucent captain's panel suddenly exploded, and there seemed to be bursts of energy surging. Not long after, the white light faded, and the 4,000 sea source stones disappeared. Ding! Congratulations, the captain's level has been upgraded to LV.2. Upgraded. Qin Feng's captain panel has been changed. Name. Qin Feng. Talent. Vigorous evolution. Level. LV.2. Vessel. One third. Affiliated islands. Zero halves. Materials. The skeleton of the giant shallow sea beast. 4,000 sea source stones. Fresh water. Bread. Seaweed. Like what Qin Feng learned in school. Captain ranks limit the rank and number of ships. Level LV2 Qin Feng can control LV2 ships. At the same time, the upper limit of the number of ships under his command has also been raised to 3. Qin Feng realizes that as he upgrades, the level of his treasure can also be improved. He couldn't wait to touch the remaining 4000 sea origin stones in his pocket. Let's upgrade all treasures. At this time, the mechanical voice that governs the endless sea floats from above. Congratulations. Rookie Captain. Qin Feng, the first player to break through to level LV.2 in the rookie period. Achievement reward, LV.2 top gunboat. This shocking voice echoed in the ears of every new captain. For a while, in the entire newcomer sea area, the more than 1 billion newcomer captains were all dumbfounded and pale. This breaks through to level LV.2. Boss Qin Feng, is that Qin Feng who only salvaged the boat at the beginning? No, it's a business tycoon who buys black iron quality materials on Tianzun. They are the same person. It's too strong. If the start is not a salvage ship, but a warship, wouldn't he break through faster? Fairy. Qin Fengzhezh is amazing. I'm your fangirl. Under normal circumstances, it would take more than half a month for new players to collect sea origin stones that have been upgraded to level 2. 
After all, the sea source stone resources in the newcomer sea territory are very scarce, and most newcomers still wait until they leave the newcomer sea territory before they can break through an upgrade. As for Qin Feng's ability to upgrade this time, it was purely due to his own business behavior that he gathered the sea source stones from all the newcomers into his own hands. Only then did they gather enough sea source stones during the protection period for newcomers. At this moment, the mechanical notification sound came again. New Captain Qin Feng, the first breakthrough upgrade took 6 hours and 17 minutes, breaking the record for the fastest upgrade in the endless sea area. Reward. Bronze treasure chest. The forum, which had finally subsided gradually, is boiling again. Human Emperor Lin Tianan's record was broken just like that. That's a record that has been maintained for nearly 50 years. I thought it was the ultimate. Who would have thought that Qin Feng, the big boss, would turn out to shorten the record of 10 days to 6 hours? Worship. Big brother Qin Feng's future is limitless. I would like to take the boat and be the brother of Qin Feng. Those who think of the little brother, step back a little bit, the team is long. Everyone's admiration and admiration, Qin Feng just laughed it off. He glanced at the bronze treasure chest with a smile on his face. In this sea of newcomers with whiteboard materials, when more than a billion newcomers are vying for their own black iron quality materials, Qin Feng himself already holds a bronze quality treasure chest. What a privilege and privilege at this time. Win directly at the starting line. Qin Feng turned his eyes to another reward, the gunboat. Collect rewards, gunboat. Qin Feng said silently in his heart. He is looking forward to the role of this new ship. Collect rewards, gunboat. When Qin Feng's voice fell in his heart. A light flashed across the sky. A huge gunboat was condensed out of thin air, floating on the sea in front of Qin Feng's eyes. Dozens of burly gunners on the gunboat wore uniforms and bowed to Qin Feng. Sea Captain. The sound is rich, unified and imposing. Qin Feng motioned for everyone to stand up quite satisfied. In the brackish sea breeze, Qin Feng looked up and down the white boat in front of him. This is the gunboat. Dozens of huge black lacquered cannon barrels protruded from the hull and deck, looking majestic. Qin Feng nodded, and opened the property panel of the gunboat. Ship named Gunboat. Level, LV.2. Quality, best. Halo, none. Skill cannon fire, within 10 seconds, all muzzles will shoot shells continuously, bombarding the sea surface. Cooldown time, 12 hours. Crew, chief mate 1, gunner 1 5, navigator 1, cook 2, sailor 5. Weapon, main gun 1, secondary gun 14, long knife 5. As expected of a LV-2 ship, the staffing and division of labor have been improved a lot. Chin Feng browsed the properties with a smile. This is the first combat ship under his command, and the manpower, weapons, and skills are all pretty good. In the newcomer sea, this configuration can already conquer most areas. In Qin Feng's mind, the idea of exploring other areas on the next route quietly took shape. After he finished looking at the gunboat in front of him, he found that although this gunboat was of the highest quality, it was still a little less interesting than the treasure. For example, the lack of halo effects, the identity of the crew is also very ordinary, and so on. It seems that through the integration of system points to improve the quality, the obtained ships are of higher quality than other ships of the same quality. After all, treasured props and items are integrated in it, and it is reasonable to be stronger. At this time, Qin Feng thought of the prop, skeleton of shallow sea giant beast, that he kept in the warehouse. That is a silver quality item, something that is almost impossible to exist in the newcomer sea territory. It couldn't be more suitable for fusion evolution gunship. I don't know what quality ships will evolve. Qin Feng couldn't wait any longer. However, he still lacks what is necessary for fusion, points. In the next trip, Qin Feng will continue to find some supplies. With the treasure and those magical elves, Qin Feng was very relieved about the supplies. But this time, Qin Feng does not intend to consign the items to Tianzun for the time being, but to convert them into points as much as possible. In this way, the evolution of gunships can be realized earlier. After making a preliminary plan for the gunboat, Qin Feng turned his attention to another item. Bronze treasure chest. Treasure chests are one of the most important sources of supplies in the endless sea. Islands, secret lands, and ruins all hide treasure chest rewards. 
and the treasures in the treasure chest are often not disappointing. They are more desirable than treasures. Open the bronze treasure chest. Chin Feng said silently in his heart. Ding. The bronze treasure chest was successfully opened. Congratulations on obtaining a bronze quality item, the key of the dwarves. Dwarves. Chin Feng frowned lightly. The dwarves are notoriously talented races for forging, and they have another characteristic, that is, they love to hoard treasures. He looked at the ancient and dull key in his hand, thinking that this might be the key to unlock the treasure of the dwarves, right? Chin Feng's guess is somewhat reasonable. But he needs to find where the dwarves are in order to use this key. Once found, it will be a great fortune. Very good, let's look for traces of the dwarves in the next few days. The appearance of the bronze quality key made Chin Feng set his main goal for the next few days. The treasure of the dwarves, the temptation is huge. It was totally worth his search. What's more, Chin Feng just got the gunboat, and his subordinates have no shortage of combat power. Before we go, there is one thing left to do. Chin Feng touched the only remaining Haiyuan stone in his pocket, and said coolly. Upgrade the treasure ship. In response to Chin Feng's command, there was a moving mechanical prompt. Upgrading the ship level to LV.2 requires consumption of 4000 C origin stones. Do you want to continue? Familiar voice, familiar formula. Continue. In the eyes of other newcomers, Chin Feng spent the 4000 Haiyuan stone, which was undoubtedly a huge sum of money, without blinking his eyes. Ding. Congratulations to the captain, the ship treasure has been upgraded to LV.2. A layer of milky white halo enveloped the treasure, and then the treasure's size expanded a bit visible to the naked eye. When the halo fades away, treasure will take on a new look. Join the captain. A row of neat long legs came into view. Twelve elf girls with beautiful looks bowed to Chin Feng in unison. From Chin Feng's point of view, the white waves on the chests of the elf girls are fascinating. 4,000 Haiyuan stones are really worth it. Chin Feng was pleasantly surprised by the improvement in the quality of Treasure's crew. In this way, his LV-2 fleet has already taken shape. Check the properties of Treasure, and you can set sail with confidence. Chin Feng thought silently, and clicked on the panel of Treasure. The properties of the Treasure were presented in front of Chin Feng's eyes. Ship named Treasure. Level, LV.2. Quality, best. Halo, greedy halo, the sea area where the treasure is located, the quality of materials in this area will increase by one level. Skills, intermediate salvage, elf search. Crew, treasure female elf 12, sailor 3. Weapon, elf treasure book 12. It seems that the improvement of ship level is different from the improvement of quality. Upgrading the level will only improve the quality and quantity of the crew weapons, etc., and will not cause major changes to the capabilities of the ship itself. Upgraded crew, white thighs and chest. Chin Feng couldn't help but click on the attributes of the new crew members. Crew, treasure female elf. Occupation, explorer. Grade, second grade. Level, LV.1. Health volume, 150. Magic, 100. Skills, treasure sense of smell, spirit shock wave. Evaluation, under the breathtaking appearance, is the excellent fortune of Vanves. Vanves. Hehe, <laughs> luck is also part of strength. If it can bring prosperity and good luck, then of course the best. Chin Feng smiled. With a family of elves who are good at searching for treasures under his command, his luck is of course extremely good. The female elf on the treasure has also learned a new skill, the basic long-range attack spell. Chin Feng muttered when he saw the spirit shockwave in the treasure female elf's skill bar. Although not as fierce and terrifying as the gunboat's firepower, this skill can at least carry out harassment and initial defense. Besides, these are crew members of the second rank, even if they are explorers, their output damage will not be low. If other newcomers find out, God knows how jealous they will be. After all, under the command of more than a billion rookie captains, there are no second-tier crew members yet. Chin Feng went to the front again. Let's go, explore the sea. Chin Feng shouted, and the crew on the treasure and the gunboat got busy. He looked back at the initial isolated island he teleported to. It is not so much an island as a desert island. And the area is extremely small, and there are no resources at all. The design here is only for newcomers to stay overnight, and it is impossible to stay on it for a long time. 
After all, everyone must venture into the depths of the endless sea in order to obtain endless treasures and power. Without a trace of nostalgia, Chin Feng turned around and stepped onto the deck of the treasure. Bang! Hurrah! The roar of the engine is accompanied by the leap of the waves. Looking at the sea in the distance, Chin Feng's heart suddenly widened, and the waves were magnificent. It is rumored that the endless sea has no boundaries and no end. And I will lead my own fleet to explore the end of the endless sea. I want to make all the creatures on the sea surrender to me. Rhetoric, impassioned. Soon, the treasure and the gunboat disappeared on the horizon. Time flies. The night passed. Chin Feng led the fleet to a completely unfamiliar sea. When they salvaged supplies before, they had never sailed to such a distant sea area. Of course, Chin Feng did not waste this night in vain. Treasure's fishing net salvage activities were carried out all night, and the harvest was quite fruitful. With panda-like dark circles under their eyes, the sailors braced themselves and placed the salvaged materials respectfully in front of Chin Feng. No way, Chin Feng ordered them to work all night. Because the treasure female fairies need to rest and recharge their energy to recover their mana. Chin Feng raised his hand, indicating that the sailors could step back and rest. He counted the supplies by himself and recycled them to the system in exchange for points. Salvage. Broken firecrackers 3. Recycling points 90 points. Salvage. Rusty cloth armor asterisk 5 pieces. Recover 250 points. Salvage. Two floating black iron woods. Recover 160 points. Dot dot dot. The treasure ship has an aura of greed, and the value of salvaged materials is much higher than when it first set sail to salvage. The points recovered by the system have increased gratifyingly. But the gunboat is of the highest quality, and the points consumed by using the fusion function will definitely not be 500 points. It must be much higher than this figure. System, how many points do you need to fuse the skeleton of the giant shallow sea monster with the gunboat? Chin Feng asked the system directly. In evaluation of points. Master, this fusion needs to consume 5,000 points. Although he was prepared, Chin Feng was still shocked when he heard the reply. 5,000 points. With the improvement of the quality of the ship, combined with the points consumed by the upgrade, the increase is really significant. However, compared to other captains who had to use corresponding levels of sea beast spirits for fusion, Qin Feng's way of consuming points was simply a benefit. Glancing at the 910 points in the system interface, Qin Feng frowned slightly. Continuing to salvage like this, coupled with the treasures found by the treasure girl elf, it will not be difficult to collect 5,000 points before the sun sets today. But it would be great if you can meet an adventure and get something worth a lot of points. At this moment, on the gunboat ahead of the route, the sailors shouted in alarm. Report to the captain. A giant ocean beast is found ahead. It's speeding towards our fleet. Chin Feng immediately stood up from the seat. He looked in the direction the sailors were pointing. In front of the ship where the waves splashed, about a thousand meters away, a huge shadow nearly 50 meters long was clearly visible under the blue sea. It's an ocean monster. In the endless sea, there are countless sea monsters lurking, and they are one of the most ferocious creatures in the sea. It is also the target of countless high-level fleet crusades. Chin Feng looked at the shadow of the giant beast that was approaching with a serious expression. He knew that although most sea monsters were extremely ferocious, the monsters that wandered in the newcomer sea were relatively gentle. Chin Feng smiled lightly. If you don't have high-value item recovery points, you will be delivered to your door. Treasure. Gunboat. Everyone is on alert. Ready to attack. Chin Feng shouted and gave the crew of the two ships under his command the command to prepare for battle. All crew members immediately entered a state of emergency readiness. The gunboat is the main firepower point of the fleet, and every gunner stands in front of the gun barrel, ready for battle. On the treasure, twelve graceful and slender figures stood by the side of the ship, holding a treasure book, ready to launch a magical attack at any time. Chin Feng expressed satisfaction with the mobility of the crew under his command. His eyes looked at the shadow under the sea again, this time the other party was much closer. Chin Feng can also check the information of this sea giant. Monster named Manatee. Level. Normal. Level, LV.2. Grade, first grade. It turned out to be an ordinary mob at level 2. The moment Chin Feng saw the other party's message clearly, his expression relaxed a lot. 
The ships under his command are all level 2, and they are of the highest quality, so it is no problem to destroy this ordinary monster in terms of firepower. But Qin Feng felt a little lost suddenly. It was not easy to meet a giant ocean beast, but it was just an ordinary mob. Although it is easy to deal with, the items that explode after subduing it are not so amazing. As we all know, the higher the level, level, and rank of monsters, the more rare items will be released, and the better. After thinking about it, the newcomer sea territory rarely encounters rare monsters, so this level 2 monster is considered lucky. How many novice players have never seen a giant monster yet? The giant manatee is only a few hundred meters away from Qin Feng's fleet. Qin Feng could clearly feel it under his feet, because the manatee agitated the sea surface to swell, and the hull of the treasure treasure was fluctuating greatly. At this moment, the huge shadow under the sea was shrouded in a layer of golden shimmer. It seems that a sudden change has occurred. I saw that the huge outline of the manatee seemed to be covered with a thick layer of leather armor, and the two horns on the top of its head more than doubled in size. Mutated. Qin Feng was both surprised and delighted, watching the mutation that was happening to the manatee in front of him. A pleasant mechanical voice sounded in his mind. Because the manatee accidentally responded to the effect of the greedy halo of the treasure when it approached the treasure, its quality has been improved. I see, the aura of greed still has this hidden effect. Qin Feng was taken aback. The greedy aura of the treasure not only improves the quality of materials in the sea area, but also triggers a chance to increase the quality of monsters under certain special circumstances. Qin Feng immediately looked down at the sea cow beast shrouded in golden light, and checked its information again. Monster named Furious Wave Manatee. Level. Elite. Level, LB.3. Grade, second grade. Really. Elite monsters. The manatee has been upgraded from a common monster to an elite monster. The level and rank have also been raised by a level accordingly. Very good. The materials released by the elite monsters are definitely the existence that disdains the entire rookie sea area. Without saying a word, Qin Feng immediately ordered the treasure female elf to attack the huge shadow under the sea. Female elves, use your skill, spirit shockwave, to attack rage sea cow with all your strength. Force it out of the bottom of the sea. The gunboat is ready. Once the manatee rushes out of the sea, it will be fully fired. Directly use the black iron quality ammunition in the storage room. Bomb it to death. Qin Feng deliberately kept two boxes of black iron ammunition salvaged along the road, just to deal with the current situation. Black iron quality ammunition, perfect for shooting level 3 elite monsters. The orders were like a mountain, and the treasure elves and gunners started to act one after another. As the beautiful singing sound resounded across the sea, countless invisible shock waves penetrated the surging sea and pierced into the manatee's body. It's a pity that the manatee mutated into an elite monster, the skin on its body surface has been reinforced, and its defense has been greatly improved. The shock wave can only attack very shallow flesh. However, enough is enough. The sea cow was soaked in blood all over its body, it was injured. Boom. With pain and anger, raging wave manatee jumped suddenly, and its huge body tens of meters jumped out of the sea. Block out the sun. This leap of the manatee created a huge wave. But this can't stop the gunners of the gunboat, their firm will to abide by the order. Attack. On the gunboat, the first officer shouted loudly against the waves. The gunboat skill is launched, and the artillery fires. Boom. Boom. Bang bang bang. Bang bang. The deafening noise of gunfire stirred up the waves and waves. The black clouds in the sky also surged at an extremely fast speed. The continuous shelling took a long time before it gradually subsided. Skill. Cannon fire, entering cooldown time. Qin Feng looked solemnly, with joy, at the huge corpse floating in front of the fleet. At this time, the mechanical sound of the commanding endless sea resounded in the ears of all the new captains. Ding. Congratulations to the new captain, Qin Feng, for killing the second tier elite monster, Raging Waves Manatee, and achieving the achievement of the first elite monster kill. Reward. 8000 Sea Origin Stones. Hear the award announcement. The jaws of all the rookie captains nearly hit the floor. Second tier elite monster. I'm still killing crab monsters, God Chin has already killed the second tier elite monsters. Is this still human? God Chin is too strong, isn't he? His fleet can overwhelm elite monsters. 
It's not far from the Tier 3 fleet. Beer. Chin Fung, YYDS. The entire newcomer channel is completely boiling. The dark clouds gradually dispersed. The surface of the sea is golden and sparkling. If it weren't for the gunboat's skill, fire to the sky, that could fire continuously, the battle with the manatee might not have ended so quickly. The gunboat caught the opponent by surprise. In just 10 seconds, two boxes of black iron ammunition were emptied in the blink of an eye. What a fierce offensive, what a dense bombardment. Massive damage exploded on its body, and the manatee had no time to dodge and pant. Just like that, in front of Qin Feng's eyes, he was killed as a target. This means that Qin Feng owns two top quality level 2 ships. Other newbies have to run for their lives when they encounter this giant beast. Everyone played well. It was a wonderful battle. Qin Feng's breezy appearance is like the crew under his command. Hearing the praise from the always serious captain, all the crew members had smiles with a sense of accomplishment on their faces. The sun shines on everyone's body, warm. Looking at the carcass of a manatee floating on the sea, which is as big as a football field, with a golden halo, one can tell that there must be precious treasures in it. Quickly approach the manatee, and salvage the carcass and dropped objects. In the endless sea, killing monsters will often drop materials and props. The most common is Haiyuan stone. And the monster corpses themselves are also treasures. Their skins, bones, special organs, etc. are all good things that can't be found. Even if you can't use it yourself, you can still get a lot of wealth if you put it on Tianzun online consignment or auction. What's more, what Qin Feng killed was an elite level monster that was almost impossible to meet in the newcomer sea. Both the body parts and the dropped items are very exciting. The treasure and the gunboat fixed both ends of the raging wave manatee corpse, so that the corpse would no longer move with the waves. The subsequent salvage work went very smoothly. Because Qin Feng has the system of turning waste into treasure, he didn't spare even a single monster tooth, and salvaged all of them. The glistening drops were all salvaged and piled up on the deck. The harvest is full. Even the beautiful treasure elves leaned back on their chairs, their faces flushed and panting. Like a rich man, Qin Feng began to count the harvest. In fact, the abundance of supplies in front of him is enough to make Qin Feng worthy of the title of rich man. There are a total of 12,000 sea source stones. Counting the achievement rewards for killing this monster, Qin Feng has another 20,000 sea origin stones in his purse. Sure enough, there is something to gain. If Qin Feng hadn't consumed the Haiyuan stone he earned from selling supplies to upgrade his level yesterday, then he wouldn't have been able to get the gunboat. Without the gunboat as the main firepower, he might not be able to kill this elite monster. In short, seeing the money bag filled up again, Qin Feng felt much happier. Keep counting. Manatee's slender horns, bronze, asterisk 2. Recycling points 1600. Manatee fins, black iron, asterisk 3. Recycling points 600. Manatee broken viscera, black iron, asterisk 5. Recycle points 1000. Consistent with Qin Feng's expectations, the corpses of rare monsters are treasures in themselves. The various parts of the corpse are recycled to the system, and the evaluation points are very considerable. Soon his point balance exceeded 5000 points. It is already possible to implement system fusion on gunships. Qin Feng hopes to do things one by one, and the points will not be lost in the system, and it will not be too late to integrate them later. He continued to count the harvest. At this time, a dazzling crystal caught his attention. The crystal is the size of a fist, like a piece of round blue agate, beautiful and deep. It's the spirit of the sea beast. Qin Feng recognized this agate-shaped crystal at first sight, the treasure of the endless sea, the spirit of sea beasts. Because it can be integrated with ships to improve its quality, it is sought after by all captains, so that its price in the trading area is not cheap. In order to confirm the quality of this sea beast spirit, Qin Feng carefully checked its attributes. Item, sea beast essence. Quality, bronze. Evaluation, the manatee's refining essence can be fused with whiteboard, ordinary, and boutique quality ships to improve the quality of the ships. Good. Bronze quality. Qin Feng's own ship is already of the highest quality, he doesn't need this sea beast essence. However, the quality of the ships of other newcomers is still concentrated at the ordinary and high quality level. 
The newcomer period is the period when the demand for bronze sea beast spirits is the highest. At this moment, there are still thousands of posts asking for sea beast spirits on the trading section of Tianzun.com. It can be seen that there is a great demand for it. Qin Feng's top quality ships, if they are fused with sea beast spirits, at least silver quality sea beast spirits are needed. Qin Feng played with this sea beast spirit, planning to put it in Tianzun's online auction. Anyway, the system points have been enough for the time being, and the cost effectiveness of exchanging sea beast spirits for points is currently not high. It's better to put it on Tianzun.com and sell it at a high price. After a day of hard work and adventure, Qin Feng believes that there are already people or small groups in the newcomer sea area who have accumulated a lot of sea origin stones. Just use this rare treasure to harvest the leaks of these people. Qin Feng intends to upgrade the ship to LV.3, which is a lot of sea source stone consumption. Resolutely, the Manatee's Sea Beast Spirit was immediately posted on the trading section of Tianzun.com. Sea Beast Essence, Bronze Quality, Consignment Auction. Have you received the reminder, something big happened in the trading area? Who the hell is so fierce? I got the Sea Beast Spirit the next day. Who else? God Chin. This time Chin Shen is placed in the auction area, it seems that those few descendants of the aristocratic family are going to fight for their heads. I'm afraid Chin Feng will make more money this time than last time, right? Wow, I want to give birth to a monkey for Chin Gurgur. When Chin Feng hung the spirit of the sea beast, Tianzun exploded in an instant. In less than two days, the title of, God of Qin has already resounded throughout this novice sea. However, Qin Feng didn't pay much attention to the news from Tianzun.com. His eyes were caught by the light on the deck. Huh. Is this an equipment item? Qin Feng vaguely saw a ring-shaped object in the light. A look of surprise appeared on his face. Judging from the brightness of the prop's light, it is a rare item. There was excitement in Qin Feng's eyes. With the blessing of powerful equipment, it is even more powerful for the fleet. He couldn't wait to pick up the equipment. Two pieces. Unexpectedly, two pieces of rare equipment exploded in a row. Qin Feng was startled. Quickly click on the equipment attributes. Shield cloak gold quality equipment, which can raise a magic barrier to protect the fleet and resist one damage. Cooldown. 12 hours. Kanglang staff gold quality equipment, the wearer's water attribute attack plus 30%, and will get the spell skill, summon of water element, at the same time. Gold quality. Qin Feng himself did not expect that the golden equipment, which was called an artifact in the early stage, was right in front of his eyes. As far as he knew, over the years, apart from the treasure chests in the newcomer's secret realm practice, only one piece of gold equipment had been revealed in the newcomer sea area. It can be seen how rare this quality was in the early stage. But at this moment, Qin Feng harvested two at once. Full of luck. Of course, Qin Feng was still very calm. He knows that today's harvest is not entirely due to luck. The greed aura of the treasure ship played a key role, otherwise this manatee wouldn't have mutated into an elite monster. When ordinary monsters are killed, the dropped items must be greatly reduced compared to now. Bronze quality equipment will be released at most. Bronze and gold, although the quality is only two grades apart, the effect is very different. Qin Feng put the shield cloak on his shoulders. The magic barrier is very practical, whether it is life-saving or giving it a go, it is a magic skill. Qin Feng put it in his equipment slot without hesitation. But another piece of gold quality equipment made Qin Feng difficult. The Kanglang Staff is obviously a weapon equipped by a mage profession. But now there is no mage on his ship. It seems that it is necessary to supplement the magic profession of the fleet. On the contrary, this piece of equipment reminded Qin Feng that although the gunboats in the current fleet had strong firepower, it would be difficult if they encountered monsters with extremely high physical defense. A fleet with both physical and magical means is an excellent fleet. It seems that we can only store this weapon first. Qin Feng silently put the Kanglang staff into the storage room. It is impossible to build another magic ship in a short time, because the shipbuilding resources in the novice stage are very scarce, and there are very few ways to obtain new ships. Qin Feng was very lucky to control two boats on the second day of the novice period. Although it is not easy to get a magic boat, Qin Feng has another way. 
That is awakened ship hero. As long as the ship is upgraded to LB3, there will be a chance to randomly awaken the hero character belonging to this ship. Among the hero roles, there are legal professions. To upgrade the ship level from LB1 to LB2, you need to consume 4000 Sea Origin Stones. And upgrading from LB2 to LB3 will cost 50,000 Sea Origin Stones. The 20,000 Sea Origin Stone savings in Qin Feng's pocket was far from enough. But he wasn't worried either. After all, he still has the spirit of the sea beast, which is now listed on the trading section of Tianzun.com, and the auction is in full swing. Qin Feng thought of this, and clicked on the information in the trading area. Sea Cow Beast Sea Beast Essence has been auctioned for a high price of 40,000 Sea Origin Stones. It was less than 10 minutes before he was put on the auction block. It seems that the spirit of the sea beast is really very popular among the captains. At present, the highest bidder of 40,000 Haiyuan Stone is a captain named Nangong. Just by looking at the surname, you can tell that you are a child from a family. Only the descendants of aristocratic families and big families can unite their clansmen who are also newcomers and gather wealth to work together. On the second day of awakening, it is difficult for casual players to take out so many sea origin stones for auction. And the big family spent a huge sum of money to get the sea beast spirit, they are not fools. After upgrading the quality of the ships with the spirit of sea beasts, they will become the strongest fleet. Almost no one can compete with them for the excellent resources in the newcomer sea. Therefore, the initial cost will often be quickly paid back in the next few days. Even in the long run, starting early is a necessary step to laying a solid foundation. However, with Qin Feng around, how could the good things be given to the children of these aristocratic families? It seems that the price of sea beast spirits hasn't reached its peak yet, let's let it go. There is a saying, let the bullets fly for a while. With a smile on the corner of Qin Feng's mouth, he closed the Tianzun interface. The skeleton of the shallow sea monster one appeared in Qin Feng's palm. Silver quality rare items, 5000 points, are all in place. In order to be able to fight stronger creatures, Qin Feng immediately evolved the gunboat. System, integrate the bones of shallow sea monsters and gunboats. Improve the quality. Silver quality items detected, and top quality ships. This fusion will consume 5000 points, please confirm whether to continue. The system prompts a friendly reminder. Qin Feng's eyes sank slightly, and his voice was firm. Continue. All of a sudden, the skeleton of the giant shallow sea beast turned into a slime-like substance, adhering to the surface of the gunboat, and then gradually hardened. The breath of ancient creatures rushed over, and the bones of giant beasts covered the hull, forming a layer of hard defense. All the turrets on the gunboat are engraved with mysterious words, like some kind of charm. In the blink of an eye, the gunboat more than doubled in size. Gunships are still evolving. Another item on Qin Feng's body also emitted light. What? The key of the dwarves is shining. Qin Feng's eyelids reflected the blue light, and murmured. Could it be a reminder that the dwarves are near this sea? When the dwarf key glowed, Qin Feng believed that the dwarf was nearby. Although the treasure was nearby, Qin Feng was in no rush to take risks. He planned to let the crew members under his command rest for a while, and then set off for the Dwarven territory after a night's rest. After all, they had just experienced a battle, and everyone needed to recuperate. Maybe the Dwarves will not greet them friendly, and there will be another big battle then. It is difficult for a tired team to win a game. Just when Qin Feng was making a plan in his heart, the evolution of the gunboat was completed. A huge ship full of ancient creature breath appeared out of thin air. Ship name, Kanglin Dragon Flame. Level, LB.2. Quality, Treasure. Halo, Giant Beast Suppression. Skills, Gunfire, Blue Dragon Flame, Main Gun Skill, Accumulates Dragon Fire and Sprays Out, Causing 3000 Points of Dragon Plus Fire Damage to the Target. Cooldown Time, 1 Hour. Crew, Chief Mate 1, Dragon Gunner 20, Navigator 1, Cook 2, Sailor 5. Weapon, Main Gun 1. Secondary Gun 19, Long Knife 5, Dragon Gun 20. This time, the talent, Leaping Evolution, was not triggered. The gunboat has been upgraded from the best quality to the treasure quality. Qin Feng's mind was very calm. 
A talent that has a chance to be triggered, how can it be required to be triggered every time? And it's still in the early stage, whether the quality jumps up or not is not so critical. In the later stage, every quality improvement is a qualitative change, and the cost is high. At that time, it is the time to show the greatest value of leaping evolution. Compared with the high cost in the later stage, Qin Feng would rather pile up the probability of not triggering in the early stage. In the later stage, give me a blast. Continue to look at the Kenglin Longyan, and you can hardly recognize its original appearance. Presumably the fusion material, skeleton of a shallow sea giant beast, came from an extremely powerful giant beast, maybe even a fire dragon. Because the hull and gunner of the Kenglin Longyan are gradually becoming dragon-like. At the same time, the ship has also acquired a new skill, Black Dragon Flame. High value dual line damage. With the addition of the newly added aura of Giant Suppression, it will be easier for Qin Feng to deal with huge monsters such as ocean monsters in the future. This time, the use of system points to improve the quality of the gunship brought about a qualitative change. Qin Feng was very satisfied. The two ships under his command have auras and their own characteristics, which are absolutely second to none among the newcomers. By the way, let's take a look at the attributes of the crew's dragon gunner. Qin Feng looked at the crew members who looked like dragons and covered with solid dragon scales, and couldn't help being curious about their attributes. Crew, dragon gunner. Occupation, warrior. Grade, second grade. Grade 1. Health volume, 300. Magic, 50. Skills, Dragon Scale Armor, Defense Power plus 50%, Mana Consumption 50 within 10 minutes, Fire Dragon Bloodline, Fire Resistance plus 20%. Evaluation, Dragon Man, with extremely high blood volume and defensive skills, can also play a great role in fighting against fire-type enemies. Following the appearance of the Treasure Female Elf, Qin Feng has added a Dragon Race. It has been rewarding. At this time, an elf girl came from the deck, twisting her waist, moving and charming. Captain, the key in your hand is always shining. May I ask if we are now searching for the territory of the dwarves? The elf girl's moon-like long hair draped over her chest, and she stared straight at Qin Feng with a pair of clear and bright eyes. If it weren't for Qin Feng's strong will, he might not be able to hold on any more. The elves are naturally beautiful, and it is difficult for mortals to resist that temptation. Besides, this elf girl is still the active type. It's getting late, everyone must be tired from the fierce battle today. Qin Feng looked at the dark night that was about to fall and the moon that was about to rise, and he said to all the crew members. The crew involved in the battle should have a good night's rest, and the sailors will take turns to stay on guard at night. Chefs, cook a few tables of delicious dinners tonight, let's have a good time together. It just so happened that the high-quality and delicious sea animal tenderloin was harvested today, which is one of the best ingredients in the endless sea. Now that you've run into it, there's no reason to waste it. Qin Feng was in a good mood, and gave all the stored food to the chef on the Kenglin Longyan. There is only one requirement, the dinner must be delicious and have a good time. All the crew cheered loudly, danced and sang, praising their enlightened captain and expressing their inner joy. The fire in the kitchen is flickering, the smoke is curling up, and there is a rare smell of fireworks on the sea. The first mate and the treasure elf lit up the decorative lights on their respective ships, making it warm and quiet. As night fell quietly, on the dark and far-reaching sea surface of the endless sea, a group of fascinating warm lights continued to shine like this. From afar, it looks like a halo of hope. It makes people feel happy, peaceful and warm. At this time, Qin Feng became one with the crew. This fleet is a warm and cozy home for everyone. The sun is rising. After experiencing a warm and cheerful night, everyone's body and mind were greatly relaxed. The crew members are full of energy and energy. Only their captain was still lazily leaning on the soft seat of the treasure. Captain, it's time to wake up. A soft and gentle voice came, and a pair of icy skinned hands gently shook Qin Feng's shoulders. After relaxing last night, the treasure fairy cared more about Qin Feng. Maybe they know their captain better and deserve their love. Qin Feng opened his eyes in a daze. At the first glance, a face that is all over the world comes into view, the skin is like fat, the cheeks are slightly dizzy, a pair of big eyes are shining, and her figure is even more graceful and hot. It is a blessing to have an elf girl. Waking up every morning to such a wonderful picture. 
How about it, have we found any traces of the dwarven territory? Chin Feng squinted his eyes and looked at the sea. The sun is shining and the weather is nice. But at this time, there are no islands or land around the sea where the fleet is located. Today is the third day. Chin Feng hoped to achieve something today, preferably by finding traces of the dwarves. The elf girl responded softly. Back to the captain, there are no clues in the dwarf territory, but we found several goblin ships. Goblin. Chin Feng's eyes changed and he began to think. Goblins are full of hostility to the human race, but fortunately, the level of goblins in the newcomer sea area is very low, and he can deal with them completely. The tricky thing is that goblins are intelligent beings, and they come in very large numbers. There are even divisions of collateral branches, and each branch goblin is enough to form a sea army. It is often more troublesome to provoke them. Goblins rarely leave their territory, unless there are some special events that arouse their interest. Which direction is the goblin ship discovered today heading? Qin Feng's intuition told him that the dwarven territory was nearby, and the appearance of the goblin ships must be related to it. If you follow the direction of the goblin ship, you should be able to find the dwarves. That direction. The elf girl understood, her white jade finger pointed south. One or two small dots can still be seen faintly there, which are miniatures of goblin ships. Qin Feng smiled and ordered. Very good, treasure, Kanglan Longyan, turn the bow and head south. Yes, captain. The crew members of the two ships responded in unison. Their momentum and obedience have improved a lot compared to yesterday. Chin Feng felt satisfied in his heart. This is what a good fleet should look like. All the way south. Time passed quickly, and it was already noon in a blink of an eye. The speed of the ships under Chin Feng's command was obviously much faster than the big ships of the goblins. The figure of the goblin's big ship has grown from a small point to a big enough to see the busy green crew on the deck. It is indeed a ship of the highest quality and gem quality, completely crushing these miscellaneous ships in terms of speed. As the keys in his pocket flickered more and more frequently, Chin Feng became more convinced that his judgment was correct. They are getting closer and closer to the dwarven territory. Chin Feng's heart beat faster with excitement. Just as he was blowing the sea breeze and feeling excited, a loud cry came from the Kanglin Longyan beside him. Captain. A goblin warship has been found, and it is coming menacingly. Fire, they're firing. Chin Feng stared. Goblins are indeed full of hostility to humans, and they will fight when they meet. Listen to my order, fire with full power. Counterattack. Since you did it first, don't blame me for being rude. Chin Feng looked coldly at the side of the fleet. A fast approaching raid ship was firing wildly at his fleet. With this level of attack, Chin Feng didn't need a shield cloak at all. The 12 hour cooling time still needs to be reserved for critical battles. The gunfire of the goblin warship is not fatal. If the hull is slightly damaged, he can use system points to repair it. Chin Feng thought to himself, just use this goblin warship to try out the newly evolved Kanglin Longyan. At this time, the shell fired by the goblin warship just fell, hit the sea water near the fleet, and exploded. The waves around the treasure were turbulent and the sea water splashed in all directions. Ah! The elf girls were unsteady on their feet, and instinctively let out a soul-stirring exclamation. Use the blue dragon flame to destroy the enemy. Chin Feng gave an order, and the main body of the Kanglin dragon flame immediately shot out a burst of high-temperature flames, blasting the goblin warship a thousand meters away. Wow. Humans. Oh. What a powerful attack. With one after another shrill screams, the entire goblin warship was engulfed in the flames of the blue dragon. In the next second, the warship and all the goblins on board were burned to ashes. The damage of the Kanglong flame dual system is too strong, and the ships in the early stage can hardly resist this flame. The point is, this skill only has a 1 hour CD. Very practical. Because you killed the blue-faced goblin warship, the blue-faced goblins hate you plus one. Hate plus one. The hatred and friendship system, it turns out that this group of goblins is one of the forces of the endless sea. Maybe it's because of the increase in hatred value. At this time, the big goblin ship that was sailing ahead turned its bow at the same time. They rushed towards Chin Feng one after another. Seeing two huge ships turning around and rushing towards us in the distance, the dragon gunner and the treasure elf both made preparations for battle. 
The increase in hatred caused the big goblin ship that was sailing towards its destination to attack instead. Goblins with a friendly hate system are all big tribes. Among the many complex divisions of forces in the endless sea, there is one of them. The goblins of the big tribe, it is not an exaggeration to say that they are rookie killers. According to Shenxia Kingdom's incomplete statistics, the battle with the highest death rate for a captain in the novice stage is the conflict with various goblin groups. Facing the blue-faced clan goblins, Chin Feng was very calm. After observation, the opponent is also a LV-2 ship, but it is only of ordinary quality. It would be easy for Chin Feng to destroy these two big ships. But this will undoubtedly consume a large amount of ammunition resources of the fleet and the mana of the crew. Good steel is used on the blade. Chin Feng lightly waved his hand, signaling the sailors to turn the bow. All crew obey the order, bypass the goblin fleet, and take a curved path to the south. Full power. Since we already know that the destination of the goblins is in the south, why bother fighting them? Moreover, he still doesn't know where the goblin's stronghold is. If they confront each other here, it is very likely that they will attract more goblins to support them. He can deal with two big goblin ships, but if there are 10 or 50 goblin ships, it will undoubtedly form a border of Chu Zhe on all sides. A smart captain will never let his fleet fall into a passive position. Qin Feng is well versed in this. So he chose to avoid unnecessary trouble. Moreover, Qin Feng's goal was the dwarven territory, not the goblins. Just now he concluded that the opponent's speed was far inferior to his own, so as long as the two ships under his command were at full speed, the goblin fleet would not be able to touch him at all. Qin Feng is bound to make full use of the advantages of high-quality ships. Boom boom boom. The huge roar of the engine's full horsepower is deafening. The spray from the side of the boat was 5 meters high. The treasure and the Kanglin Longyan advanced at full speed, breaking through a passage on the crystal-like blue sea. With the big ship behind him, the anxious and angry babbling of the goblins became farther and farther away. Facing the slightly salty sea breeze, Chin Feng smiled smugly. Who would have imagined that the big tribe goblins, who frightened the newcomers, would be in a helpless situation when facing Chin Feng? The goblins watched as Chin Feng's fleet galloped away. Gritting their teeth, they could only babble angrily and anxiously to vent their aggrieved hearts. Like a whole boat of clowns, performing alone on the empty sea. After several hours of full speed progress, another scene unfolded in front of Qin Feng's eyes. The sea is bluer. From time to time, there are small isolated islands dotted on the sea. However, the vegetation on the isolated island is lush, and it seems that birds or other animals have settled on it. These isolated islands are small enough to be uninhabitable for humans, but just fine for smaller animals. This sea area is full of more vitality than before. Qin Feng admired the brand new sea view in front of him. In his hand he held a bronze key that became brighter and brighter. The dwarf territory is nearby. That's right. If there is a huge and resource-rich island in a sea area full of vitality, it will undoubtedly be an excellent place for intelligent biological groups to settle. At this moment, the sailors on the observation deck of the Kenglin Longyan shouted. Master Captain. Master Captain. I saw the island. Black smoke is rising from the island. Closer to this island. To the beach away from the black smoke. Qin Feng revealed a look of surprise. Regardless of whether the black smoke the sailors saw was due to fighting or forging, they all thought there were people on the island. Combined with the shining dwarf keys in their hands, it is obvious that they have finally found the dwarf territory. As the fleet and the island gradually approached, Qin Feng watched from the deck. This is a huge island interlaced with vegetation and mountains, and you can't see the edge at a glance. The island is surrounded by forests, and you can vaguely see the vertical and horizontal streams. What a nice island. Qin Feng couldn't help but click his tongue in praise. This is the first time I have seen the livable big island with my own eyes since I realized my qualifications as a captain. As the fleet approached the border of the island, Qin Feng frowned. Because he heard louder and louder shouting and killing, coming from the place where the black smoke rose. It seems that this black smoke is the smoke of fighting. The treasure maiden, the dragonborn gunner, and the sailors were all in awe of Qin Feng. Just now Qin Feng ordered the ship to dock to the shore far away from the black smoke, he was really prescient. Without knowing the information on the island, 
logging in rashly from the eye-catching coast is very likely to get involved in the current war for no reason. That would be extremely detrimental to the fleet. Because they first came to this island, they didn't know the details of the two warring parties, and they didn't know whether there were any characters on the island whose strength far surpassed theirs. If you go to war directly. Unfortunately, if you encounter a strong enemy, isn't that a direct gift of the head? Only by knowing yourself and the enemy can you be invincible in a hundred battles. And, there are many intelligent races in the endless sea, and the human family is not the only one. Any intelligent race is quite tricky to deal with. Ding. Congratulations on discovering a new island. Angmar. Reward for map exploration. 5000 sea origin stones. Please check. There are also rewards for exploring new maps. It's very conscientious. Qin Feng's wallet was heavy after accepting the rewarded Haiyuan stone. But now is not a leisurely time to count the money, he immediately ordered the dragon gunners to investigate the situation on the island. First officer, you led five dragonman gunners ashore to investigate the situation over there. Don't reveal your identity, and don't get involved in the war. Observe the situation of the battle from a distance, and then report back. Understood. Captain. The first mate did not dare to delay the order after receiving the order from the Captain Chin Feng. Immediately, he fired five dragon gunners, raised the dragon spear, jumped ashore, and ran into the woods of the island. For the rest of the crew, Chin Feng arranged for everyone to be on standby to protect the safety of the ship. It is now afternoon, Li Tian is still very early in the dark. Chin Feng was not in a hurry, he closed his eyes and rested on the treasure, waiting quietly. Not long. The first officer led five dragon gunners, and came back panting with information. Captain, I, we have seen the situation on the battlefield clearly, it is. It's the dwarves who are at war with the goblins. Hearing the information, Chin Feng instantly became interested, and murmured. The dwarves, are fighting the goblins. The dwarves, are fighting the goblins. Chin Feng had a premonition that his chance was coming, he looked to the first officer and asked. Dwarves and goblins, what is the strength of both sides? The first mate licked his dry lips, restrained his thirst and replied. There are about a hundred dwarf warriors, and there are more than three hundred on the goblin side. And we saw a few large goblin ships docked near the beach from a distance. Ah yes, it's exactly the same big boat that turned around and chased us at noon. There are still boats. It seems that the fighting power of the goblins is more than the 300 people on the shore. Qin Feng's eyes became serious. There are too many goblins in the big tribes, which is indeed a trouble. The dwarves are good at forging, but no matter how sophisticated their weapons and equipment are, they cannot withstand the crowd tactics of goblins. If it continues like this, the dwarves will soon be defeated. The island is clearly the domain of the dwarves, and the goblins are the invaders. Qin Feng's expression changed slightly, and he continued to ask. What level are the dwarves and goblins? Back to Master Captain, I have read carefully just now, and they are all second order. And they are all ordinary monsters, no elite monsters were found. Got it, get on the boat first. After hearing this, Qin Feng showed excitement on his face. If there were no elite monsters and lord level monsters, this island would have to be taken no matter what. Although there are many opponents, but such a good opportunity, Qin Feng will never miss it. Even if there is damage, it is an inevitable price. What's more, he still has a whole card for point restoration. The island occupied by the dwarves means that it contains rich minerals. We must take this island. Qin Feng issued an order to the crew. Assist the dwarves in attacking the goblins immediately. Yes. Captain. Qin Feng led the ships under his command and rushed to the battlefield in full swing by riding the wind and waves. Not long. The earth-shattering shouts of killing and the sound of weapons colliding stimulated everyone's eardrums. Qin Feng was not misled by the fierce atmosphere of the battlefield, he maintained the calmness and wisdom that a captain should have. His eyes fell on the goblin ship hidden near the coast. For the battle on the island, let the dwarves resist for a while. The most important thing is to solve the support force of goblins. A race that relies on crowd tactics to invade other people's territories, without the support army it is famous for, will surely be shaken. At that time, if you attack the opponent with the dwarves, it will naturally get twice the result with half the effort. Fire at the goblin ship. Qin Feng issued an order coldly. 
The blazing fire immediately reflected his stern face. With full fire, no ship is immune to his fire. Boom. Boom. Bang bang. Boom. The dwarves have reinforcements. Wow. We were attacked. Wow. It's human. Human. It's hot. It's hot. A sharp and miserable howl resounded along the coast. Accompanied by the loud noise of the burning and explosion of the ship, it attracted the attention of everyone on the battlefield. The sea was ablaze, and the heat wave hit. In the blink of an eye, three large goblin ships had already been reduced to ashes. Hundreds of goblins were killed in the fire. The sudden change shocked the goblin leader. That is the force that the Qingmian clan has worked so hard to accumulate, and those big ships were all built with a lot of sea origin stones. The roar of Qin Feng's cannon fire directly destroyed the goblins' foundation for at least five years. More importantly, this operation by Qin Feng tilted the balance of the battlefield at this time. I didn't expect your dwarves' allies to be so powerful. Who the hell are they? The goblin leader was shocked and angry, facing the massive deaths of his companions, he was furious. Just as he was about to capture the dwarven territory, a fleet appeared out of nowhere, ruining his event. There is an unknown fire simmering in the goblin leader's chest. And the faces of the dwarves who were fighting bloody battles gradually showed a look of hope. Although they don't know, who sent this support army? Where did it come from again? But it is clear that this powerful fleet is helping them. This is enough. Bill Hardbeard, the leader of the dwarves, suddenly raised his weapon hammer and let out a rough roar. Reinforcements have arrived. The enemy's backup has been wiped out. Brothers of the Hardbeard clan, charge with all your strength. Kill all the green skin monsters in one fell swoop. As Bill Hardbeard's voice echoes across the battlefield, all dwarves switch from defensive to attacking stances. Like little steel balls with beards, they rushed into the camp of the goblin army, rampaging. This group of guys with beards are really crazy. Chin Feng stood on the side of the ship, overlooking the battlefield on the island, and sighed helplessly. When cutting off the enemy's retreat, he is also most afraid of angering the enemy. It was originally a plan to shake the morale of the goblin army, but Bill Hardbeard disturbed it in such a way that the goblin aroused the momentum of fighting to the last stand. The green-skinned mobs all over the battlefield all have a red buff on their heads. Last stand, when in a desperate situation, there is a low probability of triggering a buff state, attack power plus 30%, defense power plus 30%. Chin Feng was speechless. The goblins who were originally on the shore battlefield had an absolute advantage with 300 people, and now they have the, last stand, buff, which is directly equivalent to 100 more people. 400 goblins fought against 100 dwarves. Bill, why are you so arrogant? Still TM charge. The reason why Chin Feng quickly joined the battle was to assist the dwarves in resisting the invasion. Instead of waiting for the goblins to destroy the dwarves and reappear to reap the benefits of the fishermen. It is precisely because apart from Angmar Island, which is rich in mineral resources, the dwarves themselves are also a treasure. They are born to be excellent blacksmiths. The most outstanding blacksmiths in the endless sea are all from the dwarves. At this moment, Bill Hardbeard led his people to charge into battle, which would undoubtedly reduce the number of dwarves sharply. In order to smoothly launch the forging production after claiming the ownership of the island, Chin Feng must stop Bill's stupid behavior immediately. After the Kanglin Longyan blasted the last goblin support ship docked by the island with an extremely high temperature, Kanglong Flame, Chin Feng's fleet was completely exhausted of firepower and ammunition. Chin Feng immediately issued an order to his crew. Treasure female elf, dragon man gunner. Go ashore to support the dwarves. Take orders. Obey. My lord captain. The dragon man gunner grabbed the dragon spear beside him and jumped into the battlefield, participating in the brutal melee combat. The graceful and soft backs of the female elves floated to the shore without hesitation. Chin Feng knew that this was not enough. Also at the second level of combat power, although the dragon gunner and the treasure female elf are of better quality, they still cannot suppress the huge number of goblins. Chin Feng looked down at the smoky battlefield, the backs of the female elves and the dragonmen fighting hard. He resolutely clicked on Tianzun.com. In the auction area of the trading section, there is a high-priced treasure that he consigned, the spirit of sea beasts. It seems that the hero is still on the stage. It seems that the hero is still on the stage. Chin Feng secretly sighed in his heart. 
a light curtain rises in front of my eyes, and the high price of 75,000 Haiyuan stones is clearly in sight. The price is good, and this should be almost the third day of the novice period, the limit of the sea origin stone that the family power can produce. It seems that for the spirit of the sea beast, the children of the aristocratic family have also invested their money this time. The situation was urgent, Chin Feng immediately pressed the auction end button. Sea Beast Essence Auction Successfully. 75,000 Haiyuan stones have been remitted to your account, please check. Chin Feng was very pleasantly surprised that the sales on Tianzun.com were credited within seconds. 100,000 sea source stones are ready. Chin Feng held the bulging money bag with a smile on his face. Who would have thought that Chin Feng, who started with the salvage ship, would have climbed to the top of the new richest man many times in just three days. However, Chin Feng is not greedy for these false names. If you have money, you have to spend it. Only by transforming wealth into real combat power can you be proud of this sea. Upgrade the ship to LV.3, there is a chance to summon a, hero. This is Chin Feng's plan. Upgrading a ship from LV.2 to LV.3 requires 50,000 sea origin stones. But before that, you must raise your own captain's level to LV.3, so that the level limit of your ships can be increased. Therefore, these 100,000 sea source stones are just enough. Upgrade the captain's level. To upgrade the captain's level to LV.3 this time, you need to consume 50,000 sea source stones. Do you want to continue? Continue. Chin Feng saw the fierce battle in front of him, the figure of the treasure female elf and the dragon man gunner fighting hard, and said decisively. As soon as the words fell, Chin Feng's whole body was instantly reflected with dazzling colors. There seems to be waves of warmth flowing through the body. Congratulations, the captain's level has been raised to LV.3. The upper limit of the ship's level is open to LV.3. Chin Feng felt refreshed all over his body, as if he had just had a massage and sauna. The captain's panel appeared in front of him by itself. Name, Chin Feng. Talent, Vigorous Evolution. Level, LV.3. Vessel, Two Quarters. Affiliated Islands. Zero Halves. Materials, 50,000 Sea Source Stones, Bronze Keys, Fresh Water, Bread, Seaweed, Sea Monster Tenderloin. This time the captain's level is upgraded, mainly increasing the upper limit of the number of ships. Chin Feng's eyes fell on the column of, Affiliated Islands, the number zero that had been kept for a long time. Soon, I will have my own island. The gaze is fixed. Upgrade the treasure ship. Compared with the artillery and skills of the Kanglin Longyan, the treasure, as an auxiliary ship, has a relatively low output capability. What's more, seeing the icy-skinned and jade-skinned elf girls being bullied by goblins made Chin Feng feel uncomfortable. So Chin Feng gave this opportunity to upgrade the ship level and summon heroes to treasure, hoping that the appearance of heroes can bring good output. To upgrade the treasure ship to LV.3 this time, 50,000 sea source stones will be consumed. Would you like to continue? Continue. Without even thinking about it, Chin Feng replied firmly. Instantly. A piece of golden streamer descended from the sky, like a nine-day waterfall hanging down, covering the hull of treasure. In the golden streamer, the treasure became larger at a speed visible to the naked eye. The decoration on the ship is also more and more exquisite and refined. This astonishing scene made everyone on the battlefield stop what they were doing. Whether it was the dwarves or the goblins, they all turned their heads to look at the transforming treasure, and the golden light shone on everyone's face. Bill Hardbeard is well informed, and he shouted excitedly. Allied ships have been upgraded. Great. The fighting power of the Allied forces has improved again. The blue skin of the goblin leader concealed his ashen complexion at the moment. It widened its eyes, looked stupidly at the radiant treasure, and shouted. Upgrade in battle. Can you still do this? Under the exclamation, my heart is full of complaints. It was about to take Angmar Island, but it was disrupted by this so-called lover's allies. And this allied army seems to be much stronger than the dwarves themselves. Also TM upgrade directly on the battlefield. This is the first time a goblin leader has seen such an outrageous fighting style. Is there still a way for people to live? After a while, the upgrade of the treasure was completed, and the huge and exquisite hull came into everyone's sight. 
The style of the whole ship has the elegant temperament of the forest of elves on the remote black coast. Congratulations, the treasure number has been upgraded to LV.3. The notification tone has not yet fallen. On the vast ocean behind Chin Fong, a gust of wind suddenly picked up, and layers of huge waves rolled up and down one after another. Suddenly, a jet of extremely fast swirling water sprang up from the bottom of the sea, like a giant water dragon soaring into the sky. Thunder and lightning flashed, and black clouds gathered. The situation changed suddenly. All these visions made everyone present dumbfounded. Only Chin Feng had a smile on his lips. He knew that this was a sign of the birth of a hero. Treasure number successfully summoned heroes. The water dragon soaring to high altitude suddenly turned and swooped down amidst lightning and thunder. Hit the treasure's bow deck. Boom. Due to the huge force, the hull shook violently a few times. But intact. Turning his head to look at the bow, the moment the water dragon landed, the splashing water condensed into pieces of ice and snow, flying around. On the bow, a gorgeous ice blue cloak fluttered in the wind. The woman's graceful figure came into view, her blonde hair was wavy, her star eyes flashed, and her delicate face was beautiful and moving. Under her beautiful appearance, there is a faint cold temperament and exquisite wisdom. When she turned around quietly, the two proud and full snow-capped mountains were undulating, bound by the tight cassock, ready to emerge. Chin Feng's heart beat faster unconsciously. Hello, my captain. With a gentle and cold voice, the beauty bowed deeply to Chin Feng. Congratulations. Successfully summoned a tier 2 hero, Christy. Summoned successfully. It turned out to be a tier 2 hero. Thanks for watching.